That's what happens when you're super dehydrated. <laughs> yeah. Holy crap. At 45 minutes, I'm going to quit here. The last breadstick. And we're back at it again. I just warmed this bad boy up in the microwave. Guys, sometimes you just gotta live a little. Seriously. Alright, everybody, so it is Wednesday. It is the 20th now. I did just get done with five days straight of work, so I am pretty tired. Slept in until um, eight today, which is completely out of the norm for me. Usually I'm up pretty early. Good thing I have my coffee. So, I mean, I've been pretty curious about uh, what I've been eating, so I decided to track things out and see where I've been uh, essentially with, uh, with my calories and everything. So it was kind of interesting. So after a day of work, Riding in the morning, coming home, this is what I was at yesterday. So, right now, um, you know, admittedly, my energy levels are kind of bouncing all over the place, but I don't know, I just feel pretty hungry, and I have no idea what I want to do. I uh, might just experiment with a few things, play around, and uh, see where things go. But, yeah, I mean, I've been getting out uh, a solid training session in the mornings, before work and then usually doing like a casual ride on my lunch break but other than that I haven't really been training too much I mean getting into the gym probably about uh, three days a week right now and lifting uh, that's pretty much what I all I need compared to in the past I do uh, pretty much every day or at least five to six days a week so finding that I've been seeing strength gains there but obviously keeping things on track is very important so that's pretty much where I stand with that stay tuned for the next part of the video guys So everybody, before I open up everything, uh, I want to let you guys know, just because I don't feel like I do this enough, like seriously how much I really, really appreciate all of this. Like every time you guys see uh, me posting videos or Instagram pictures of stuff that you send me, like it really does truly make my day. And uh, you know, days are, I've had some pretty hard days over the past few months and uh, I really like going to my PO box and uh, getting letters from you guys and just seeing what you guys send me just cause it really puts a smile on my face. And yeah, I won't ramble on too much longer so I'm gonna open these up right now. Uh, the first one is gonna be from Chiao Sheng Shi. Sorry guys, you have to understand, it's a little bit hard to pronounce but. This is so cool, look at this guys. That's awesome. Wow, this looks pretty sick guys, check it out. So shout out to you, I really appreciate you sending this out to me, it's actually pretty cool material too, so I actually might have to wear this uh, for the live stream tonight, so stay tuned for that, this is pretty sick. Thanks again dude. All right, and I did get a letter from Richard and I won't say your last name, so this is a pretty long one, so I won't obviously read this entirely, but um, this is something that uh, I really like to keep you know, private. In the past, I've read out letters and it probably hasn't been the best thing for me to do for confidentiality reasons, so I'm gonna read this. Thank you, Richard, for sending this over to me. Uh, this is gonna go on the fridge. I always like putting these on my fridge, so thanks again, dude. Alrighty, and the next one's an Amazon package, so we're gonna see what we got here. This is kinda cool. Oh, that's sick! Look at this, guys. Lamb of God, one of my favorite, favorite metal bands ever, uh, and this is one of my actual all-time favorite CDs. This is really cool. So Alwyn Yingwei Reed says, Eric, you constantly give, so I'd like to give back a little bit more. Pour a bowl of cereal, throw on the shirt. Uh, sincerely, Alwyn Yingwei Reed. So huge, huge, huge shout out to you, Alwyn. Really appreciate you sending this to me, dude. Made my day, thank you. Here we go, this is gonna be the last one, guys. Alrighty, so this one is actually gonna be from a loyal subscriber named Crystal, who goes by Uniquely Yours, who is always in the live stream. She's really, really cool. And it uh, looks like she, sent me something awesome, so wow. Wow, Crystal, you are awesome. I have a Target gift cards so I can get more cereal, more groceries, you are so awesome. Thank you so much, Crystal. So huge, huge, huge shout out to Alwyn, Crystal, um, Richard, and uh, also my subscriber from China. I'm so sorry I can't pronounce your name, but thank you guys so much. I really, really, really appreciate everything that you guys do for me, so it means a lot. Thanks again, guys. Just finished the last episode of Serial Chat, just finished filming it, so 
gonna finish these off and also want to let you guys know that I have not had one of these in ages I just warmed this bad boy up in the microwave. This is fresh out of the bakery I'm not gonna reveal which bakery because it's a secret of mine, but sometimes you just gotta live a little seriously I've been craving cinnamon goods like crazy lately, so this is perfect Stay tuned for the next part of the video guys <laughs> Well, alrighty, everybody, what's going on? This is just going to be a pretty general voiceover based on where I'm at currently. Uh, long story short is I have been progressing, and that's the most important thing. Now, uh, you can attribute it to just me just really not giving a shit about much anymore, uh, or uh, just change in overall activity levels, nutrition, whatever, whatever you want to say. You guys will see at the very beginning of the video that uh, what I've been currently eating every day, uh, that was kind of an, uh, an eye opener I'll say uh, for me. I didn't know I was eating as much as I thought I was, um, so that was good. Now uh, in terms of me uh, just kind of structuring things differently, I think that's the biggest thing uh, personally and overall. With, uh, with the changes that I have been seeing. I've been seeing slight increases in my, my pressing and that's actually where I'm most happy with uh, is my, my pressing movements and everything from there. I think right now the biggest thing, um, the biggest thing, the, the thing for me is figuring out goals and if I wanna actually start setting strength goals again, uh, that's really appealing, I'm not gonna lie. And uh, I wanna, really start getting back into uh, strength training again. I feel like I bounce back and forth in between it into liking it. Uh, when I start seeing more strength gains, I really get back into it. I get excited. So I'm starting to get excited again and that's it plus. And uh, yeah, I've been also incorporating uh, active rest days into my routine instead of doing you know six, seven days a week of, of training uh, more, less is more in this case. And uh, my appetite's through the roof lately. I've been, uh, it's also kind of, you know, I won't say uh, making me nervous, but it's crazy to, to see that uh, me eating more, uh, well, eating more is making me, um, uh, well, obviously gain strength, but at the same time, uh, that the more you eat, the more hungry you get, I guess you could say, the more hungry I get. It's just, I don't know, that's where I'm at currently, and it's kind of like, oh God, but. Anyways, that's it for the voiceover, guys. Stay tuned for the rest of the video. See ya. Alrighty, guys. Tonight, we're going to be trying out the honeycomb cereal from Post. Now, I've had this, but it's been a long time, and I can't really remember what it really tastes like, to be honest. So, I'm going to review it for you guys right now. Let's do it. Alrighty, everybody, and here we go. Wow, holy crap, this is actually amazing. Guys, I forgot how awesome this cereal is. Wow, <clears throat> made with real honey, too. I just wanna say that the texture of this cereal, the airy texture that this has to it, is what's winning this over for me. I mentioned it a lot, guys, and if you haven't been able to tell already, I'm a huge fan of the airy textured cereals. Uh, I guess you could say the consistency of like a uh, Captain Crunch uh, type of cereal. It's It doesn't really get your mouth kind of beat up like those cereals will. I know if you eat like Captain Crunch, Reese's Puffs, all those cereals, they'll get the top of your mouth nice and scratched up, but this is actually, it's not doing it, so. <laughs> Actually, the texture is my favorite part about the cereal. Now for the taste, I feel like it, it could be a little bit sweeter. The honey taste that it has to it, it's decent, but I feel like they could have done a better job with it. If I were to give it a rating on a scale of 110, I'd give it about a six and a half or a seven. Guys, my overall thoughts on this cereal, definite winner. I'm gonna give this one an eight and a half out of 10. Give it a shot if you haven't already. Alrighty guys, so I just got home from work. It's Saturday. I did just pick up my new Springfield XD. This is my first ever handgun. I'm actually really stoked about this. My buddy and I went shooting a few weeks ago, if you guys saw in the last vlog. 
I'm just really excited to kind of get into uh, you know another hobby and uh, potentially go shooting again this weekend. So that's what it looks like right there. Very sleek, awesome design on it. Lock right there. So your hand always has to be there for it in, in order for it to fire. Um, for my first handgun, again, I want it to be safe and everything like that. So if I do fall in love with it, I'll get another one, uh, probably get a Glock. Uh, my next gun most likely will be a, uh, a rifle or something like that or a shotgun. So um, again, really excited to get into the sport, really excited to have a good time with it. Now, it's safe to say I'm in two very expensive hobbies. Oh well. Uh, it's about 10, 22. Latest project, I finally launched the store where my t-shirts are going to be available. So you guys can check that out right there. I'll have a link in the video as well. So it's kind of just the beta version, I guess you could say right now. Yeah, shout out to that picture though. So there's the shirts. Uh, just doing a limited batch right now, so the first ones get their hands on it. Just so you guys know, it's there, and the link will be in the description. Anyways, so we're gonna go through the rest of the day. Uh, I have a special challenge planned for tonight, so I'm uh, gonna get a good ride in, and then possibly go train afterwards, but yeah. Let's see what happens. That's what happens when you're super dehydrated. <laughs> yeah. Holy crap. And as you guys can see, right there, all this white stuff. Just dehydration, but regardless, I got a good solid ride in. So right now we're gonna get some fluid in us, some calories, and then do a little training. And then we got a little special event in store for everybody. Stay tuned, guys. Well, I guess I gotta get a new ninja. And we're back at it again. Alrighty guys, so you've reached the end of the video. Thanks to everybody for clicking on it and watching. Uh, it's been an absolutely crazy week. So much has gone on. Uh, I did the challenge and I'm sure you will be seeing it in this video. I uh, did just a lot of, at work. I've had arguably one of my most busy weeks at work and uh, the highest numbers I've ever put up there. So I'm really proud of that. Um, I am mentally, physically drained though, not gonna lie. Uh, so, you know, it's just a lot's gone on guys. And um, I also put my t-shirts out. So if you guys haven't already, check them out on the, uh, the store. So I'll put a link to that in the description and you guys can go check them out and get your hands on one, hopefully. Uh, they should be available on the first of next month, I believe I will be getting that shipment in. So uh, I'm shipping to as many different countries as I possibly can. So uh, let me know, you know, if you guys don't see the option there uh, and I'll make that available for everybody. And yeah, everybody, so right now, uh, I have a lot planned still going on and uh, my, I just wanna let you guys know the whole real goal with all of these is I'm, I'm trying to put out more quality over quantity. So that's why you guys don't see a lot of vlogs for me anymore. Uh, I should say quote unquote vlogs. Uh, just because I don't like cramming a whole bunch of uh, just useless stuff into to one video. I wanna to try to make it as you know appealing as possible for you guys. So if you guys haven't already, feel free to follow me on my social media. Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, you know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video guys and I did forget one thing. Boom. Be sure to add me on Xbox Live. But definitely go ride a bike. Seriously. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What, 9,000? Oh.